Could this be real and the clearest photo of a UFO in all of history? Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you don't know what's going on here, I am a horror artist and I like to draw what I talk about. Hopefully bringing you a unique experience and if you like this kind of content, like and subscribe and turn on bell notifications, all that good stuff that will keep me connected to you and every time I upload, you will be notified. I have always had a fascination with UFOs. I absolutely love delving into UFO cases. And I have loved doing this since a very early age. Even though when I was younger, it did scare the shit out of me. I enjoyed wondering and trying to find evidence on whether or not UFOs and aliens really did exist or do exist. Now in today's video, I'm going to delve into the case of the clearest UFO picture in all of UFO footage history. And it's finally been released. And it's the case of the Calvine UFO. Now let's get into the history of this photo. The Calvine UFO is the world's clearest photo of a suspected UFO. But this picture went missing for 30 years until now. On the 4th of August 1990, about 9pm, two male hikers near Calvine, about 56 kilometers from Perth, Scotland, took this photo of what appears to be a diamond shaped object hovering in the sky with a jet or harrier flying around in the background. These hikers then turned the images over to the Scotland's Daily Record newspaper, which was then handed to the Ministry of Defence, and that's when the photos went missing. Apparently, there were six photos in total. For 32 years, the photos just disappeared, but ended up resurfacing after a British journalist named David Clark obtained the last image, or a copy of it I should say, from ex-RAF officer Craig Lindsay, who was just waiting for someone to inquire into the mysterious case. The two hikers are still unknown, but more info will not be released until 2072, as there are rules in place to not release info for near 80 years for quote unquote privacy concerns, and the two hikers have never come forward publicly either. Between the two agencies, Ministry of Defence and the Daily Record, they both pass the buck to each other, saying they pass the negatives onto each other, but neither have them. All we know about these two hikers is they were working as chefs in a hotel in Pitts Lockery in Scotland Highlands, and what they saw in the sky that night scared the absolute shit out of them. The two men said to the Daily Record newspaper interviewer that they heard a light hum near silent object moving slowly in the sky. When it finally came to a stop, it hovered in the sky for 10 minutes. They apparently ran and hid in some dense woodland at first until the jets turned up a few minutes later and circled the UFO. This is when the men started taking photos. Then the UFO just shot directly up into the sky at lightning speed, never to be seen again. Apparently, this UFO was approximately 30 meters long. Clark had the image analyzed by his colleague at Sheffield Hallam University, Andrew Robinson, which said that the photo appeared that it had not been tampered with or anything like that. If there was anything added to the photo, it was done in the environment and not on the roll of film or negative. But Clark admits that he doesn't believe that the craft in the picture is of alien origins, but a man-made airship that the government may have been experimenting with. He believes that the craft could be the secret craft that the US government was building in the 80s called Aura, but the government denies this craft even exists. 
The image could even be a complete hoax or a prank with the two men throwing something into the air just as the jet flies past, coming up with an elaborate story that the jet was circling and this may be why they don't want to come forward publicly. But it doesn't answer the question of why the Ministry of Defence did not want to recognise anything about the photos unless they knew and it wasn't something they wanted to release to cause unnecessary panic. Maybe. Former British UFO researcher Nick Pope allegedly said that someone inside the Ministry of Defence sabotaged the investigation into the Calvine UFO to possibly squash it so the photo or the photos never see the light of day. It's alleged that the Ministry of Defence always played down their enthusiasm into the UFO phenomena and behind closed doors of the agency they were sitting around scratching their heads at the photos like the Calvin one. Only sketches and the black and white copy were the only photos that the public could only see until the real one was allowed to be released and in 2009 some documents on the event were declassified which is where the black and white copy was attached to. So this UFO incident still remains unsolved like most of them. So what do you think? Do you think that this is a hoax or do you think it's real? Do you think that the young hikers played a prank? I am definitely on the fence but maybe if the Harrier jets were involved maybe it was supposed to be a controlled experiment and they were assessing it and keeping an eye on it maybe. I also think it's weird that the photos and negatives just were made to disappear and this is to me very suspect in itself it's like they didn't want this to get out but we are never gonna know until 2072 and the only thing that we can pray for is that the two men who snapped the photo come forward if they're you know if they want to or if they're still alive they might not be still alive who knows or maybe another theory is that maybe these two men got a visit from the men in black and they were either paid off or they were told to shut their mouths or something bad might happen to them. Let me know your thoughts. I want to hear your opinions on this particular case because I, I want more proof. I want more proof. Um, that this existed that this is real and i want to be told the truth so the illustration that i decided to do for this story today was just a very simple one this one didn't take me very long to whip up um, the only thing that sort of come to mind for this particular story was um, nothing sort of directly relating to it in regards to the spaceship floating in the sky but i just wanted to do a alien sitting in the chair or the cockpit of the ufo controlling it and he's just got some blood on his mouth god knows what he's done he's got some on his chest there's um, some hand prints on the dash but his hands are pretty clean because i sort of come up with the theory that uh he washed his hands you know was a good little uh sterilizing alien it's because he had to touch the controllers of the of the craft and he didn't want them to get dirty <laughs> yeah that's my story and i'm sticking with it because i've heard a couple of stories on the ufo crafts that apparently there is indents there's hand indents on the dashes of these ufos allegedly and i wanted to portray that in this illustration on one side where his hand is controlling because apparently uh according to these videos that i have watched the uh the hand print that the, the hand print section that the hands of the aliens go into uh control the ship and they are controlled via the mind so that's quite interesting so that's what i sort of wanted to portray in this illustration as well but anyway i am out of here hopefully you enjoyed this uh, video and this information and hopefully you stick around to watch whatever is left of this video and i am out of here and i'll see you guys in the next one bye